wake up around 7 a.m. I open my blinds, make my bed, organize my apartment and my room to make me feel complete and organized for the day. Then I change into my workout gear. Now I'm in my bathroom for my skincare routine. I am brushing my teeth right now as you can see. I use Tom's toothpaste, the fluoride free kind. Fluoride can enhance chronic illness symptoms as I have noticed, so I tend to stay away from it. Next you can see I'm pulling out my hair to wash my face. I use Beauty Counter Face Wash, the clear pore cleanser. I really make sure I scrub my face for a minute or so to get every inch. I like to massage it into my face to open up my lymphatic system and drain some of the water that my face accumulated while sleeping overnight. Next, I like to grab these tea tree face wipes from Trader Joe's. They really exfoliate your skin. Then I grabbed my Schmitz deodorant. This is my favorite non-toxic and aluminum-free deodorant. Then this is my Super Goop SPF. No matter what I'm doing that day, I always make sure that I put SPF on. This is an SPF 50 and it's really light on the face. Now on to my morning supplements. All of these supplements I take are great for immune health, to boost the immune system, to fight off bacteria and viruses. These ones that I'm specifically taking are targeted towards acne, but they can also help the overall health. I've seen amazing things from these supplements. I've taken them for the last year and a half and I highly recommend them. This pill right here is B12 and it's great for vegan health. Every morning I go into the kitchen and the first thing I do is make a large glass of ice water. So here I'm doing 30 ounces of lemon water. Lemon water is a great detoxifier to push out all of the things in your system that were built up overnight from sleeping and it's a great way to start your digestive system. This is my Berkey water purifying system. I always make sure to fill up a huge jar in the morning so I can put it in my fridge and make sure it's chilled throughout the day. I always make sure to get some type of morning movement into my morning routine. I find that it just wakes up my mind, body, and just gets everything going for the day. Today I decided to do a small five minute morning flow on my balcony to get some fresh air, move my joints, and get my muscles moving for the day. I kind of just do what feels right and what my body's asking for at that current time. Every day is different, but I do like to get in some type of small movement for the day before I sit down and work for eight hours. I always make sure to have some extra time to do some morning breath work and meditation just to get my head in the right space and set up for the day of success. This morning I was actually fortunate enough. I woke up quite early and I had some time to kill before I had to be on my laptop for work. So I decided to drive to the beach and do a couple miles of walking on the beach to get some fresh air, sun, and kind of get in the right headspace for the day. Today's beach walk actually turned into a beach trash cleanup. I was at the beach in Malibu and this was the first time that I had seen the beaches by my house this dirty and disgusting and I was honestly appalled. So if you go to the beach and leave trash, please make sure to pick it up because it's not fair to anybody to have to pick up the trash after you or to the species and animals that live in and on the beach. So this recently has been my quarantine at home office. If you can't tell, I love to be outside. The fresh air really rejuvenates me and puts me in a great headspace for the day. The first thing I do is sit down, organize my to-do list, and figure out what I need to do for the day. Okay, so now is my favorite part of the morning. I am making a juice. Today I'm just making celery juice. Typically I do a base of like celery or cucumber and then add like spinach, kale, lemon, orange, apple, ginger, parsley, cilantro, honestly just like anything I have in my refrigerator I just throw it in here. I love consuming green juices. The first thing I consume in the morning because it's great on the digestive system and it really works and benefits your body mostly when it's on an empty stomach. Celery juice is super super detoxifying and beneficial to the health when you're trying to heal the body naturally. I found that celery juice is probably 
the number one thing that's helped me throughout my entire healing journey. And it's amazing what sour juice can do to your body. I will forever have so much love and thank sour juice. Um, I know that's so annoying because sour juice was like such a fad and such a trend a couple of months ago. But seriously, sour juice has changed my life. What happens with sour juice is when you juice it, it turns into cluster salts and they're very, very beneficial to the body. The cluster salts um, bind onto toxins, heavy metals, bad viruses, bacteria, and they pull them out of the body safely. I haven't experienced it, but it's been known to people who first drink celery juice that it's hard for them on their body. They get headaches, stomach aches, things of that nature. So what I tell people is to start out slow. When I first started, I only did 16 ounces and that seemed to work for my body for a couple months until your body gets used to it and then you kind of amp it up. So right now I would say I juice two stalks and so that's roughly like 25 to 30 ounces of celery juice and that works for my body right now. So yeah, if you're experiencing some negative side effects after drinking the celery juice, it's not because you're allergic, it's because all this stuff is coming out of your body. And when you're detoxing, it's never going to be easy when stuff is pulling out of your body, but it's a journey and so you have to go through the ups and downs of it. And after you do it a couple times, for a couple months, your body will start seeing a rhythm and you'll start seeing the benefits of it. Um, so I drink celery juice as like my morning coffee. I feel like celery juice gives me so much energy and just honestly like sets me in the right foot for the day and just sets up my digestion, my energy, my mood, everything. Here's my celery right here. As you can see, it's in a single use plastic bag, which I really, really, really do not like, but the grocery stores around me aren't allowing you to bring in your own bags due to COVID. So I always get organic celery because since you're juicing it, it's the most pure form. So you don't want any of that pesticides and herbicides from the non-organic celery. And what I tend to do is I always take off the leaves because the leaves are very, very bitter and make it honestly hard to consume and it tastes pretty bad. And for those of you who say that celery juice tastes bad and they can't get used to the taste, it takes a little second to acquire the taste and honestly now I kind of look forward to it and I enjoy it because I know how much it's nourishing and detoxing and helping my health. So after I cut off the leaves, I then cut off the bottom and I thoroughly wash it. You'll start to notice that there's like bugs, dirt and like stuff that you don't want to be juicing on them. So I thoroughly wash them in the sink and then I start juicing. Okay, so a little backstory on why I started celery juice and kind of dove into this whole holistic, natural, vegan, plant-based, gluten-free lifestyle I live is because about a year and a half ago, I actually suffered and experienced really, really bad cystic acne. Um, and I kind of went to my homeopathic doctors back in Chicago and they didn't really have answers for me and I was getting very frustrated and furious at the whole situation. So then I took things into my own hands and I came across celery juice and I read about how detoxing celery juice was um, and then I kind of got into like the whole um, natural whole of like how and why everybody gets acne and how to cure it and what foods work for acne and what foods don't work for acne um, and when I did that research I kind of came up about the lifestyle that I currently live. This lifestyle works for so many other chronic illnesses and chronic diseases that I found when I started eating this diet and doing this lifestyle that not only my acne got better, but everything from like my digestive issues, my energy, my brain fog, my chronic fatigue. And it's just like simple things. I noticed that like when I would walk up like a flight of stairs, I wouldn't be out of breath anymore. I'd be able to sit in the sun for like two minutes when I was um, sick or like not feeling well before this. And now I can sit in the sun for like five hours and sweat and not be irritated by it. So it's just the small things in life that you feel like might not you might not notice but once you adapt this lifestyle it's you just see how much better you feel um and it's even like things i notice that every day when i wear my rings my rings are like loose on my fingers now and it just brings down your whole body's inflammation which is amazing and which i found most beneficial so now i have all of my celery cut washed and um took off the leaves and it's ready to go if you guys are interested in me sharing more of um, the research I found on acne and um, what I did to treat it, the supplements I took and the foods that I ate and stuff, I 
can totally make a video on that or dive deeper into that into one of my other videos. Um, so just let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message or something and I'd be happy to share what, my, what I found. gave me about 25 ounces. I mostly always get my organic stocks of celery from Whole Foods. I find they're the best quality and the cheapest. You can get one stock for $1.99. So when I go there, I usually pick up like five, six, seven stocks for the week, just so I have them in my fridge and I don't always have to make an excuse in the morning as to why I'm not drinking it because it's already in my fridge and ready to go. I also like to mostly prep them and just put them in a container or stash your bags stash your bags are my favorite they're reusable bags and they're super super amazing great quality um dishwasher safe and i have big ones that are in my freezer right now but i usually put the celery in those and also my the juicer i use is a breville i actually got this on amazon and it's an amazing juicer it's dishwasher safe and it's like five parts it's super easy to clean if you guys aren't in the market to pick up a juicer and you have a blender, you can cut the celery up, put it in a blender, blend it, and then take a milk bag. You can get milk bags for cheap on Amazon. I think I bought um, like two of them for $8 or something, and then you can just juice it through the milk bag, and that's also a great way to do it. I hope that you guys find this helpful and that maybe you'll start incorporating celery juice into your day and maybe replace it with your morning coffee and just see how much more energy you have and how much life it gives you. Now I'm on my porch and I'm doing my daily journaling. I actually like to do this earlier in the day, but uh, the morning kind of swept away with me with work and I wanted to get in some movement before I started my work day. So here, as you can see, I'm finishing my celery juice. And then if you come over to my journal, I like to write down the date and then write my intentions for the day, what I'm thankful for. And then a proud moment I had yesterday or something I did that made me happy um, and proud of myself. And then if you flip over on the other page, this is where I kind of like to jot down my health updates, um, positive or negative, just to see the progress I've made along my health journey. And this honestly really helps me look back and take note of how my mood was, how my mental health is, how my physical health is. And then I kind of take note of, oh, my health might be off because of what I ate yesterday or um, I try to pinpoint it down because then it kind of helps my mental health to do that and then figure out how I can benefit myself in the future and figure out how to better myself overall. So I like to take this five to ten minutes just to sit out here, listen to the natural sounds and write down my thoughts for the day. it is breakfast time it's about 11 o'clock I usually don't eat breakfast this late but my morning was kind of hectic with work and stuff so here I am I typically normally like to start off my days with fruit um, fruit is an amazing thing for especially the digestive tract but it's also great for um, healing any chronic illnesses people have a lot of fruit fear thinking that fruit um, makes them gain weight because it's sugar. And I always tell people that there's a difference between processed sugar and natural sugars. Natural sugars such as fruit, honey, agave, maple syrup, things of that nature are all completely natural, completely fine. And I eat so much fruit. I probably eat 10 servings a day. Every single time I snack, it's a piece of fruit. Um, fruit is very antiviral and also helps just pull out those heavy metals the toxins and all of that stuff in your brain and in your intestines and in your digestive tract, everything. I find that when I eat fruit, um, it's a great meal to start the day because it doesn't bloat me and it keeps me very light. So I always normally start off my days with either smoothies or a fruit bowl. Um, fruit bowls, I love to do papaya, mango, banana, dates, it's fig season, figs, but today, I am doing a heavy metal detox smoothie. And if you guys are not familiar with Anthony Williams, he's the mastermind behind all of this um, chronic illness healing. And he's where I got majority of my information. 
some people might think he's insane, but he's honestly saved my life. Um, and I'm forever thankful for that. And he's seriously changed my life around in the last two years and I don't have anyone to thank but him. And I wish I personally knew him so I could give him a hug and tell him how much I loved him. So today I'm doing a heavy metal detox smoothie. Heavy metal detox smoothies are great because like I said, heavy metals are one of the main things that cause chronic illnesses in the body. I have vitiligo, which is white pigmentation in your skin. And one of the main causes is from aluminum that sits in the liver and feeds off of Epstein-Barr virus. So the heavy metal detox smoothie helps kill the Epstein-Barr virus and kill the heavy metals in my body. And I've the last year and a half, I've seen significant results from this. So I do it almost every day. And yeah, it doesn't taste the best because some people don't have um, a high tolerance to cilantro, but cilantro I try to incorporate into every single meal because Cilantro is a safe way to detox heavy metals from your system, and so I always put it anywhere I can get it. Okay, so for the heavy metal detox smoothie, you're going to want to do frozen bananas. This is a stasher bag I was talking about earlier. I think it's a uh, half a gallon or maybe a gallon bag, um, and it's just like a rubbery reusable bag. So I do one banana, probably a cup of wild blueberries. These I got from Trader Joe's and you want to make sure that they're wild blueberries compared to uh, real blueberries. So wild blueberries um, have a heavy metal detox property to them. Obviously your cilantro. Dulce, which is Atlantic um, sea vegetables, is also very detoxifying heavy metals. Um, barley juice grass powder. I do a tablespoon of that. Hawaiian spirulina. I do a tablespoon of this. Hawaiian spirulina is the best plant protein that um, vegans and plant-based people can consume. It is also very, very heavy metal detoxifying. And once you put the spirulina with the barley juice, grass powder, and the cilantro and the dulse and the wild blueberries, that combination of all of those really, really um, detoxes the heavy metals out of the system. And then I also am putting a tablespoon or two of raw honey. Raw honey, you wanna make sure it's raw, is very, very antiviral and helps detox and kill the bad toxins and pathogens that sit in our bodies. Um, I usually like to blend this with orange juice, but unfortunately today I don't have orange juice, so I'm just going to be using water. Okay, so here's the finishing product. It's actually a pretty, pretty smoothie. Um, to start off, I only put a couple handfuls of cilantro just because I don't love that cilantro taste, especially in the smoothie. But if you do add honey or agave, it does kind of cut down that um, harsh cilantro taste. Um, but other than that, I think it's an amazing, delicious smoothie. And if you guys are interested, I'm going to put links to the heavy metal detox smoothie below. Um, so it gives you the exact measurements um, and also gives you more information of why it's beneficial and why it's healthy. Um, and I'm also going to link Anthony Williams, Instagram, Facebook, and all of his socials below so you guys can dive right into it. Um, if you want to go to his Instagram, he kind of lays out like uh, success stories. He lays out um, different graphics of like why certain foods are good for you, what they do for the body. And yeah, it's super helpful. And even if you don't pick up the lifestyle, just to be more aware of what natural healing does to you and how changing your diet can seriously change your life around. So enjoy. All right, guys, thanks for watching my holistic vegan morning routine. If this is something that you enjoy. Please leave some comments below and like this video. I'd like to dive more into it and show you guys all the knowledge I have and kind of what I do and what I did to naturally heal my body. So like I said, comment, subscribe, like this video because it really supports my channel. Mm -hmm.